Like we said in the beginning, man, dog training is dog training. And it's the basis of Nipopo, which is a many multi-dimensional training system. It's not cookie cutter. It, it's open to the interpretation of the user. So my version is different than Chris and Randall. But the greatest component for me is a preparation for pressure. And what we've seen over the years in police dogs is that they're getting younger and softer. And if you use these old school techniques, you're breaking them. I will say as a whole, coming from the old school where we've learned the new school, that is the ultimate balance. Like the pendulum swings that people are extremists. Now it's all clickers and stickers. <laughs> <laughs> but where do you put the squeeze on? Again, when there's competing motivators in play, exactly what you just said. So if we can prepare these dogs for pressure that they understand, number one, using that endorphin as a giddy up to go into behavior through electronic stimulation, through a prong, through leash pressure, teaching that first, like you have to do the gas pedal of things first and then apply the brakes later. And the brakes are applied in a context like we're speaking of, in a, in, a, in a behavior chain that's been broken down into micro components where the dogs learn to chunk these things together slowly in a low state of drive where when the animal's prepared and ready through the, that behavior chain, we've opened the valve of stimulation where the dog can now think and process. So if you, if you open that floodgate too soon and and then you're forced to put higher levels of pressure, that's when you're going to see dogs go, this this bird shit, this, this bite shit isn't for me. Again, the preparation for pressure for me is my favorite component of the system, and it's so valuable when you understand it. Because a day is going to come when the hand of God strikes, and we want to go the dog to go, aye, aye, captain, I got you, and not fold and not die.